Anthony, uh, how key uh, was the defense tonight, especially against a team like Phoenix likes to play at that speed? Uh, it was great. I mean, um, they were <laughs> second uh, defensive rating tonight um, out of the league. So uh, <laughs> we're getting back to our defensive ways. I mean, uh, we've been slipping in that area defensively, um, and we want to make sure that we get back to being who we are defensively um, as a team, and uh, we're able to get back that way tonight. Yeah. Plus 30 in the rebounds. Is that a focus tonight, especially with, with Aiton being out, knowing you guys would have a size advantage? Yeah, just attacking the glass. Um, but on the other end, you know, we got to make sure we get back in transition. You know, because if we don't get that rebound, then they have numbers on the other end. Um, but we did a good job of, you know, sealing guys in the paint when shots go up and able to grab a lot of offensive rebounds and um, either turn them uh, into baskets or kick them off for threes. What did you see different about Rondo tonight? It was aggressive. Um, a lot of teams are going under or, you know, stunning and getting and leaving him open. And he was aggressive enough to take the shots tonight. Um, four for five from three. Um, had a big game. So, you know, the more he can be aggressive like that, the more he's going to help us. What did you see from Danny tonight on, on Devin? Uh, you know, Danny's a great defensive player. And then, uh, that's my song right there. Uh, <laughs> You know, to be able to contain a guy like that, you know, who's been playing very well, um, speaks out into the defensive player that he is. And um, one thing about him, he always going to take the challenge. No matter who it is, he wants the challenge to guard the best for him and the guy. And, um, you know, he take pride in trying to lock those guys up. Just back to Rondo, I mean, how, how <coughs> nice is it to kind of see him find that confidence in his shot? He's always had the confidence, you know, with those guys. He wants to get everybody involved. You know, as a point guard, that's that's what he's done his whole his whole career. And um, you know, we've been on to shoot those shots to be aggressive. And um, he showed y'all, you know, what he can do tonight. You know, he does it all the time in practice. And you know, we understand that he wants to get guys involved. But uh, <clears throat> it's only going to open up the floor so he can get guys involved. The more aggressive he is. A lot of the fan discourse tends to be like, oh, the Lakers going to make a move, or they're going to add somebody. Darren Collison was here last home game. There, you feel like internally in this locker room, players are really confident that you guys can find the improvements within the guys who are already here. I mean, we knew that when we when we put the team together. Uh, we felt like we were the championship team as soon as we put the team together, and so um, you know we still had that confidence in our in our players. Um, you know, just got to get back to doing the things that we do, get back to playing defense like we did tonight, and we'll be fine. I mean, most of the games that we've uh, lost or had a hard time winning, it was because we haven't played defense. Um, and we are more than capable of, you know, being better defensively. You know, we showed that kind of like the first half of the year. So um, we just got to get back to being us. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting old. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what did you enjoy about that experience? Um, I mean, the first time I played in 12 was um, an unbelievable experience for me. You know, I think being around those guys uh, taught me a lot, you know, showed me a lot. And um, I think, you know, I wouldn't be the player I am today if it wasn't for those guys. Um, Cole, Bron, Melo, Tyson, CP. Uh, Russ, James, I all, you know, those are all my guys. Um, well, I was their guy, their rookie. Um, and it just helped me, you know, become a professional early in my career, um, showing me how to how to work, how to work hard. Um, and I kind of carried that through my whole career. So, um, and then kind of just kind of been one of the guys that they, you know, leaned on the other years. But I think 12 kind of started off and just kind of helped kickstart my career. As someone who got the invite in 12, Basically, based off your Kentucky success, were you surprised at all by the pool not including um, some of the, the notable rookies in the league? Um, I mean, it's a big year. Uh, you know, I don't think they really invite a lot of guys who, um, you know, older guys, like, you know, Bron and, and CP and, and Melo. Um, but when the Olympics come around, they always try to make sure you know, they get those guys in there if they want to play. So. There's just a lot of guys, you know, they're, had it, they're for sure going to have their time. Um, you know, it's a lot of great young players in this league, you know, and they're more capable of being on the team. But um, the Olympics, you know, every four years is always just a tough thing. And you think you're coming off the FIBA results, <clears throat> I, I assume you're referring to. It's a big year because coming yeah, off. It's a big year because it's the Olympics. It's just a 20, yeah. And was it cool to see there's five of you guys from this locker room on, the, on that list today? Was that cool to see? Oh, for sure. Um, hopefully all five of us be able to get on the team, you know, and, and compete for a gold medal. Um, you know, you know, five guys who, who play hard. Um, 
I think all five of us love, you know, representing our country. And so, you know, if all five of us get a chance to be on a on an Olympic team, um, it'd be something, you know, cool to see. Well, it's all five go. You can't call yourself old. Well, uh, maybe if all five of us go, then. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>